Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi. And in this video, it's a very short video and it's a very, very basic video. I wanted to show you the types of image corrections and just to walk you through uh, some of the basic image correction techniques and how to achieve it. And what does this actually mean uh, by these, you know, whenever you open an image editing application, you might be seeing a lot of terms like brightness, contrast, uh, saturation, vibrance, uh, highlights, shadows. What does this mean, right? What does it have to do with the images? And what I'm going to do is I will use a very basic tool called Canva. It's not a uh, proper image editing tool. It's basically a design tool but it has some basic image editing settings and we are going to use that just to get a basic understanding of image editing. So in image editing, there are basically three types of image editing. Image corrections, where you just fix the image. Image manipulation, where you manipulate the meaning of an image when you alter the image. And then there are image composites, where you combine or blend two or more images to create uh, a story. So, but we are going to look at image corrections. How do we, or what do we use to correct an image? So here in Canva, I have an image open and you can see on the top uh, panel, there are a couple of options. There is something called effects. So effects are basically filters. So you can go in here and you can see a lot of filters which are preset and it's given to you uh, by users. Right. These are created by users of Canva and they are uploaded it. So if you want, you can use any of that. Um, right next to effects, there are filters. These are filters which are available inside Canva. These are made by Canva itself. So you can, if you want to just quickly change it to black and white, you can click on that and change it. Now, these are not the corrections that we want to talk about. These are presets, right? This doesn't require any sort of technical understanding of a picture. But when you go to adjust, you can see a couple of parameters here. And this is very important while editing a picture, especially while correcting it. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of these settings and try to understand what this basically means. So let's take a look at the first one, brightness. Now before we alter the value, so you can see that there is, uh, uh, it's at zero, where you can actually control the slider to negative values and to positive values. So what does this mean? You can increase the brightness and you can decrease the brightness. So what is brightness? You need to understand that before we alter the brightness. Brightness is basically the amount of light inside a picture, right? The amount of light in a picture is called brightness. So if I go to adjust and if I change or increase the brightness, the amount of the light in that picture is going to increase, right? How much amount is there? It is going to increase there. That is, I'm just going back to zero. And if I reduce the brightness, the amount of light in that picture is going to get, uh, you know, very, very, very bleak, and you will get a pretty dark image, right? That's what brightness does. And brightness is the amount of light in an image. Next to brightness, or usually associated with brightness, you will hear this term called co contrast. So what exactly is contrast? Very easy to understand. If you look at the picture, you can see there are some bright areas like, you know, under her nose, it's a bright, or maybe, yeah, if you look at the stick, this is white, right? This is the brightest spot in this picture. And perhaps this shadow is the darkest portion in this picture. So there are dark areas and there are bright areas in the picture. Contrast basically means the difference between this dark area and the white area. So increasing the contrast means you are increasing the difference between this dark and this bright. If you reduce the contrast, the difference between the bright area and the dark area will come down. It will be neutralized. So let's take a look at that. We go to adjust and let's take a look at contrast. So as I said, if I am increasing the contrast, the difference is going to be more prominent. You can see that now the darkest, the difference between the dark and bright is too evident right now, high contrast images. But if I reduce the contrast right now, the difference sort of reduces, right? This is what happens with contrast. The difference between the dark areas in a picture and the bright areas in a picture is called contrast. When you change it, the difference changes, right? You can make it closer. So if you have, want a washed out look, 
right? You can reduce the image, uh, the contrast, and you'll get a washed out look in your picture where everything is more neutral. Uh, if you want a high contrast image, if you want to show some power or if you want to show some dominance and things like that, you might want more difference in your uh, between your darks and your whites. So you can use a high contrast image. Now, let's go to the next term, saturation. What does it mean? Saturation means the intensity of colors in an image, right? How intense is the color in that particular picture? For example, if you look at these reds, right? The intensity is pretty medium, right? It's not too much. But if I play around with the saturation, if I'm going to increase that, you can see that the value of red is much higher, right? And it's almost breaking that. It is too much, right? It's not looking real anymore because we have maxed out the saturation to 100%. It's not required in this picture. Now, that is the intensity of color in a picture. So what will happen if you reduce the saturation or desaturate an image, reducing the saturation? To reduce it, the intensity will come down until the image completely avoids all com information of color and it becomes a monochromatic image, or what we call as a black and white image, right? A grayscale image, it will look like this. So an image without any color information is called a sat desaturated image, a black and white image. So let's bring it back. That's saturation. So saturation is the intensity of color in an image. Now let's take a look at tint. So tint basically means the color of light which is used in this photography. So uh, you know, basically the color is going to be white is what we are assuming. The color is going to be white. But if you want to change the color of light, you can play around with tint. So the global illumination of this picture, right? What is the illumination around it? What is how, how the environment around us is lit up? We can play around with this and you can change the tint of the picture. Right now, we change the tint a little bit, right? We can see that it's, it's slightly greenish golden right now. And you can just play around with it and you can create different tints of your photograph. It's basically changing the light, uh, the color of the light. You can do that. So tint basically means the color of the light, not the color of the object, because when you change the tint, it is affecting globally, right? It's affecting globally to the picture. So this is what happens when you play around with the tint. If you want to uh, give a sort of look uh, to the picture, l l you know, tint is something that you play with. It is. It basically means color of light. Now these sort of settings are not very important, and it doesn't come under, uh, you know, image. Uh, corrections per se, like you know how much of the amount of blur should be in the picture or um, cross processing. Cross processing is a technique where, you know, in older days when you use chemicals to wash it, you change the chemicals and you can get different results. Uh, that is not something that we use in image corrections right now, so we don't want it. Now, another important point is the warmth of an image. This is something which controls the temperature of an image. It might look very similar to tint, but you can do two settings here. You can make the image too hot. You can make the image too cold. So if I make the image hot, this is right now a hot image, right? It's a very, very warm temperature. And if I reduce it, it's a very cold image. So the feeling that you're going to get in is sort of like a winterish image. It's very cold and things like that. So warmth is, you know, in photographic terms, we can say that this is a white balance. So you can reduce the temperature and you can you can play around with it and you can give uh, a temperature value to the image. Clarity is very simple. Clarity is set to zero right now. This is something that you need to understand. So when the beginning itself, the clarity is set to zero, which means that there is no low value here, right? If you increase the clarity, right, the pixels are going to sharpen itself. So you can see it is getting sharpened. It's getting more sharpened value here. So that is what clarity does. It increases the sharpen. So if your image is slightly uh, blurry, out of focus, you can use a little bit of clarity to make the pixels, uh, the edge of the pixels stand out, thus making it look like it is, it's more clear. But you know, unnecessary use of clarity might ruin the image, so play around with it very, very nicely. Now, the, the other one is vibrance, you can see. Vibrance is the difference between the colors. So contrast is the difference between the dark and white areas, and vibrance is the difference between the colors, different shades of colors. So if I increase the bright, uh, vibrance here in the picture, the difference between the colors in a picture will also increase. Right now, we cannot see much here because it's all the same color. Even the skin tone matches to this. Uh, it's, it's a very 
uh, you know, dull image. So we cannot see the effects of highlights much here. So, or, uh, sorry, the effects of vibrance much in this section, but it's fine. Now, these two things, highlights and shadows are really, really important. So what is highlights? Highlights are the brightest areas in an image. Highlights means the brightest areas of an image and shadows means the darkest areas of an image. So let me show you what shadows can do. So if I increase the value of shadows, there will be more light. More light will be added to these shadows. So you can just observe this area closely. And when I'm bringing it out, you can see that the light in this dark area is improving, right? If I reduce the shadows, the darkness become more darker. So I can increase the shadows. I can give more data from the shadows, right? I can reduce, I can make it even more darker if I want. Highlights, the same thing. If I want more brightness in the white areas, I can do that. If I want to reduce the highlights, so if this is too bright and I want to reduce the highlight, I can just bring it down. So you can see that the light in this face is coming down. Right? So this is how you play with highlights and shadows. Highlight means the bright areas in an image and shadows mean the dark areas of an image. So this is basically the fundamentals of image correction. So if you master these techniques, you can change your image and you can make your image much better uh, in post. Thank you.